Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Seoul, South Korea. One of the many reasons I love this country is all the amazing food items you can find at super affordable prices. Yeah, I found some really amazing cheap ease options. So for the next 24 hours, we're gonna go to as many of them as we can. Before heading off, just wanna give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, a new sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online platform with a mission to make therapy more accessible and more affordable. And that's an important mission because finding a therapist could be difficult, especially when you're in an area that's very remote and you have limited access. And that's where BetterHelp comes in because it's online, it's remote, and just by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. I mean, we all have stuff we're dealing with. I talked about in the past about my battle with depression, anxiety. It's an ongoing struggle, but being able to talk to someone professional about what you're going through, it's an important part of how I deal with it. So if you are going through some hard times in your life, definitely talk to someone, get help. And what BetterHelp can do is they can match you with a professional therapist to talk about pretty much whatever's going on in your life, career, relationships, burnout, lack of sleep. And the best thing is if you don't feel like there's a fit between you and your therapist, you can switch at no additional cost. It's really easy to sign up. Just go to my link down below, or just go to betterhub.com slash Mike Chen, and you'll get 10% off your first month. Like I said, if you're dealing with a lot of stuff, you're going through a lot of stuff, a lot of times we can't deal with it on our own. Talk to someone. All right, let's go to our first cheap East location, and this is going to be a little bit of a bus ride. Here we are. This is a place owned by a Korean celeb. This place is incredible value. All you can eat jaja man for about five dollars at once. So around three fifty for this noodle buffet. On top of that, of course, kimchi, radish, also fried rice. Jaja man looks delicious. They start you off with that massive, massive bowl. All you can eat jaja man for about three fifty U.S. dollars. This is so crazy. This is so freaking good. This might just be the best noodle deal in all of South Korea, hands down. Noodles cook very well. It's got such a nice chew to it. The sauce is deep, rich, earthy, and delicious. A little sweetness from the caramelized onions. There's bits of pork, tons of umami in this bowl of jajangmyeon. The noodle is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Texture is perfect. The jajang sauce, not overly sweet. If it feels a little too rich, chase it with some kimchi. Oh, and the kimchi has shreds of pork in there as well. I'm not sure if the price is affecting my appetite, but this is as good of a jaja mint as I've ever had. I mean, everything about this sauce, the noodles, you just wanna keep slurping this thing. Ooh. Grab a little bit of chili powder, add that in for some additional heat. And what I see people doing is taking the jaja sauce, Mix it with the fried rice. Yeah, the sauce goes really, really well with the fried rice. Drop in a little kimchi. This is so freaking good. Also, chase your jajang meal with some raw onions. Juicy and sweet. I definitely recommend adding some chilies in here. Make this a little spicier. Add some kick to your jajangmyeon. And they have other stuff besides jajangmyeon. If you want all you can eat jumbo, which are Korean spicy seafood noodles, that's seven dollars a one, so about five bucks. All right, that's a pretty good deal too. And when you're ready for a second bowl of jajangmyeon, just go up to the counter, speak to the manager. That's me that. You get yourself another bowl. I think after a couple of bowls, instead of the bus, I feel like I need to walk home happily though. So at Toast 9, I got their egg toast. I got some uh, sun-dried tomato, fresh tomato, garlic pasta. This is new on their menu. So this place is mom and pop shop. All the ingredients are organic and homemade potato soup. Mm. That's some super rich, creamy potato soup. Really flavorful, got a nice earthy flavor to it. A little peppery. All right, this is really, really good. Been looking forward to the toast. So it's an egg salad toast. This is really good. 
really creamy, eggy egg salad. A lot of times egg sandwiches here in South Korea is too sweet for me. This, not at all. Creamy, rich eggs, delicious flavor. I'm gonna dunk into my potato soup. Mm. This is a fantastic egg sandwich. One last thing to try are these tomatoey noodles. This thing for sure passes the smell test. It's really garlicky. Mm. If you love garlic, I mean love garlic, these noodles are for you. Super, super garlicky. With sun-dried tomatoes and fresh tomatoes, a little spicy, a little zesty. Again, chase it with that awesome potato soup. Delicious food at a great price. This is gonna be my dinner, so that's it for my food day today. We'll continue this cheapies food tour tomorrow, so stay tuned. See that this place is taken. So you go down a line and there's all sorts of different dishes from banchan to meats, to rice to soup to noodles. I got a little bit of everything. Spicy tofu. Mm, this is really good. Tender tofu, a lot of heat. Chase it with some cold noodles. Meat options, there's Hamburg steak, which is very nice. And the soup is pig blood soup with sprouts. Oh, this is awesome. Ooh, this thing is really, really spicy. Nice crunch from the sprouts with scrumptious chunks of blood. Food quality here is really, really good. What's really impressive about this place, well, besides the fact that there's literally about 100 people here and they just opened up, it's only about $6. And you can get as much as you want and there's unlimited beer. There wasn't a lot of uh, chicken options when I got to the chicken. This is like, I think, sweet and sour fried chicken. The chicken is phenomenal. And this thing's got a ton of flavor. Really crispy, spicy, sweet, and savory. The chicken freaking fantastic. Chase up with some cold noodles and kimchi. I got a lot of these giant chunks of ribs. I can't believe this buffet is only $6. Everything is so freaking good. The common theme here seems to be spicy. A lot of spicy items here, which is what I love. Tender ribs, a lot of heat. A lot of flavor as well. That goes so well with the purple rice and the soup. This soup is absolutely phenomenal. So much blood in every single bowl. And what people usually do, they usually just pile everything they want in the tray one time. It's a giant tray, so this thing can fit a ton of food. That was a satisfying, comforting meal. I mean, everything tastes like it came out of mom or grandma's kitchen. I've been to a few of these really economical buffets. I think this place, 100% best quality. Usually there's not that many meat dishes here. There was chicken, humper, steak, giant pieces of ribs, all delicious. A lot of spicy items. My tongue is still tingling. The soup is awesome. The fried chicken is ridiculous. If you ever do come here, definitely get a lot of that. And I'm in this area where there's a lot of office buildings. So it's mainly office workers going in for a quick meal but for around six us dollars the flavor quality the variety you're not gonna beat this place so if you're in seoul you want to get some quality korean comfort food that's the place highly recommend next place i'm going to i came all the way to hyundai for this
This is a very popular skimmin place. So if you just want to come here and get a regular bowl of skimmin, it's only 9,501, which is about seven US dollars, just making this incredibly affordable. I jazzed it up a little bit. I got a thick piece of chashu. I got an egg as well. But even this combo, it's about 10 bucks. And look at how thick this piece of chashu is. Wow, beautiful golden color on the outside. Giant layer of fat. It's just beautiful. And the noodles are glorious looking as well. Glistening and gorgeous. So as for spicy, so there's some chili powder on top as well. This noodle is grabbing onto that dipping sauce so well. This is freaking fabulous. Bowl of skimming. The noodles are so scrumptious. You taste hints of sweetness from the wheat. And the texture, just absolute perfection. The dipping sauce is rich and thick. And it's just an absolute mommy explosion. The dipping broth, you definitely taste the anchovies. Oh, and the chilies they put in here. They're not messing around. My whole tongue is on fire, but you never want to stop eating these noodles. Mmm, egg is deliciously creamy. Look at the chashu here. Mmm, my god. Holy pork. This is one of the greatest pieces of chashu that ever laid on top of noodles. I kid you not, this whole thing, the lean meat, the fat part, the whole thing just dissolves as soon as it goes inside your mouth. There's so much flavor, the texture is absolutely perfect. I don't think I've had skimming here in South Korea yet, and this has just exceeded all expectations. This is the next place I'm heading to, still in Hyundai. This area is so great for cheap eats. Look at this. Steak for about 6,900. So about $5 for the steak. So there's a lot of meat on the menu. There's a lot of steak options for around five, six dollars or less. And this place is really nice. It's got a giant window that's open so you get to kind of enjoy the fresh air. Really modern. Every table has a little iPad you can order from. There's solo barbecue stations along the wall that's kind of reminiscent of a, like an Ichiwan ramen booth. So I got some brisket. This is about two US dollars for serving a brisket. And this is the $5 steak. So about 100 grams, so three and a half ounces of steak. You can also get a Hamburg steak like I, I got here. This is about $4 for the Hamburg steak. You get a grill in the middle of your table. And if you come during happy hour between 11 and 4 p.m., unlimited free rice. There's also a bunch of different sauces. There's wasabi mayo, red wine steak sauce, spicy steak sauce. Steak is tender, juicy, nice smokiness from the grill. It's not too shaggy. I mean, I think I cooked this pretty well. As you can see, not dry at all. Beautiful pink center, nice and glistening. Add a little salt and pepper. Well, not a bad steak. I mean, if you really got a hankering for steak, don't really want to spend a lot of money, this place will definitely satisfy your steak cravings. Get some steak, get a bunch of rice, not a bad lunch. I burned my Hamburg steak a little bit. This is probably the most uh, worth it piece of steak on the menu. A little char on the outside. The inside is pretty juicy. I mean, Hamburg steaks over rice, you're not gonna be able to find that for under five bucks. But here, get a Hamburg steak. Like I said, come during happy hour. Put that over rice, add some sauce. Hamburg steak over rice. Brisket is my favorite. Ooh, that's a fatty, fatty brisket. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of fat on this. Char these pieces up. Add a little salt and pepper. <laughs> Thin, fatty brisket, always my favorite cut of meat whenever it comes to any sort of barbecue. And there's a lot of fat on these pieces. 
Again, it tastes that really nice smoke from the grill. The prices that you see here is everything. That's the final price. So to be able to get a sirloin steak and a hamburg steak for around five bucks and some fatty brisket for two, not a bad deal here. Honestly, if you just walk around this entire area, there's always places you can find that's gonna have some amazing food at even more amazing prices. And there are a lot of places like this restaurant here where you can get any one of these menu items and a set of barbecue beef for about 9,001. Here you can either get cold soup noodles with meat, no soup cold noodles with meat, or a bibimbap with meat. Where you go for their winter season selection, you get a sizzling bibimbap, or beef soup, or knife cut beef noodle soup with meat. Again, for around 9,001. So, yeah. Usually I love some cold noodles with my barbecue, but I've been eating that for I think two, three days straight. So some sizzling bibimbap. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Toasty rice bits, crunchy veg, meats, mushrooms, scallions, with some spicy gochujang tying it all together. Combine that with some sweet, really smoky barbecue. Oh, this barbecue is amazing. That's so tender. There's a ton of smoky flavor in that meat. This is just the most amazing deal. Whether you're getting cold noodles or beef mop, like a combo like this, it's so filling and delicious. Off of the price of a Big Mac. That was a really good call. Getting the sizzling beef and bop. It just smells so good, it tastes so good. All sorts of different textures, spicy. It goes really well with the meat. Mm, and that meat. Every time you chew, that sweet smoky flavor just intensifies. I lived in South Korea, find a place like this near me, pretty much just go there every single day. One final place, Burgery. This place kind of looks like an in and out burger. And you can get a burger for around three US dollars. So you can get a big fresh burger for about four dollars, a fresh burger for about three dollars. This thing is piping hot. Looks kind of like a smash burger. Tons of sauce, sauteed onions, lettuce, tomatoes. Whoa, this is a delicious, buttery, juicy burger. Beautiful scrumptious patty with a nice sear. Caramelized onions adds a bit of sweetness and smokiness. The buns are very, very soft and buttery. Like I said, full of buttery yumminess. You got the crunch from the lettuce and the pickles. The sauce is perfect, the patty is perfect, and for three bucks, makes this taste even better. It's one of my favorite areas in Seoul just to walk around and eat. There's new restaurants popping up all the time. There's a lot of classic Korean comfort food. Some of my favorite barbecue restaurants are here. Like I filmed these places before where you can get all you can eat barbecue for about $10. There's just so many places like this all throughout this area. And that wraps up another fun sheepies food day here in Seoul. As always, all places I went to listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.